Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Knowledge is Power. Today I am here with another CH related topic. Today I will discuss about the banners, the IEC materials that you need to display whenever your subcenter or HWC got selected for Kayakalp. So these are the list of the IEC materials you need to display in your subcenter. Here are list of the items you need to display. Number one, six steps of hand washing. So guys have a look on this chart. The technique is routine hand washing and the purpose is cleaning. The agents you can use for cleaning purpose either alcohol based swab, non medicated swab, antibacterial swab. You should be careful while hand washing. Hygienic hand rub. It helps to remove the disinfectant particles as well as contamination. The surgical hand disinfection. It is a pre-operative disinfection procedure. We can use antibacterial soap or alcoholic solutions. It gives long term effect and before doing any kind of surgical procedure you need to do this type of hand washing. These are the 8 steps of hand washing. You should know the duration of the entire procedure should be 20 to 30 seconds. At first you need to apply a soap or dettol solution in your hand and rinse your hand with that soap or that solution. Then you should rub your palm. Then you should clean your hands by interlacing your fingers or interlocking your fingers. After that, you should come to the back side of your hand. You should rub the back side of the hand. Then based of the thumbs, then finger nails, you will rub. Whenever you will rub your fingers, you need to rub in a rotational motion. Backwards and forwards by collapsing the fingers of the right hand in the left arm and vice versa. You can do. And afterwards, at last step, you need to wash the wrist. And once you dry, your hands are safe. This is all about the hand washing techniques you need to follow. Next IC material you should have in your HWC is 5 movements of hand washing. First is the before touching any patient you need to wash your hands. Afterwards before cleaning or doing any kind of aseptic procedure. Number 3. After body fluid exposure, you need to wash your hands. Number 4. After touching a patient, you need to wash your hands. Number 5. After touching patient surroundings like the bed linen, towel, any items that is exposed with the patient, you need to wash your hands. Next IC material, you should have 5S of work management. First is the sort. Secondly, set in order all the equipments that you have used. Thirdly, sign. Fourthly, standardize. And fifthly, sustain. Now, let me explain about the meaning in a brief way. So, 5S is a system for organizing spaces so work can be performed efficiently, effectively, and safely. This system focuses on putting everything where it belongs and keeping the workplace clean. Ultimately, you can say it will make the people easier to do their jobs without wasting their time or risking any kind of injury. So fast is the sort. It involves going through all the tools, furnitures, materials, equipments, etc. in a work area to determine what needs to be present and what can be removed. Okay. Then secondly, you should advance all the equipments in an order wise way. So the second is set in order. And thirdly, you should keep all the equipments or any kind of particles that you use, it should be very clean. So the third is sign. Okay. Afterwards, all the three steps, when it gets completed, things should look pretty good. Okay. All the extra stuff are gone. The everything is organized. Spaces are clean. Equipments are in good condition. Thus, you can say that all the things are in a standard way. It means all the things are set in order and it is standardized. Okay, afterwards the last step is sustain. Sustain, it means the process of keeping all these 5S properly. We have to see whether all the 5S is running smoothly. Okay, so this is all about the 5S IEC manner that you need to maintain in the HWC. The next banner is the standard precaution banner. Here, Mainly all the infection control protocol or the program you need to display togetherly. First is the hand hygiene. Secondly, personal protection. 
thirdly instrument processing okay all the sterilization technique will come here then the environment control and at last is the biomedical waste management this is also a part of the infection control banner the equipments how it is sterilized you can show it down in the help of the banner in your hwc next i see banner you need to display is biomedical waste management already all the hwc they used to maintain this banner you should know all the different bmw waste management buckets also different color codes are given already i have made one shorts regarding this bmw video so go through in the description list and do watch the video related to bmw if you are new to this channel don't forget to click the bell icon below and do share among your friends if they are cho so the biomedical management waste management there are different color codes let us do a quick revision regarding the buckets for the green bucket we will dispose all the general waste okay kitchen waste paper and tissues water bottles that are degradable okay then the red bucket you will throw all the plastic materials like the catheter tubes iv tubes everything you can discard in the gloves you can discard in the red bucket then coming for the yellow bucket you need to discard all the soil particles along with the blood okay everything you can throw in this bucket then the glassware items you can throw in the blue bucket that is ampules and vials okay or the glass items then the sharp needles or cut needles you can discard in the white bucket so this is all about the biomedical waste management you should know your every hwc staff member should know about the biomedical waste management okay the next ic material hwc should have is the blood body fluids spillage management suppose the body fluid the blood it spills in the ground then you need to keep the sign board caution okay then you need to wear the personal protective equipments you need to cover it with piece of paper or absorbent cloth pour one person hydrochloride on the spill for major spill wait for 30 minutes for minor spill wait for 10 to 20 minutes after that you need to wipe the area in a circular manner and put the collected material in an yellow cover afterwards you need to mop the area with the help of disinfectant afterwards send the incident report form to the infection protocol committee the next most important ic material you should need to display in your hwc is management of spills body fluids chemicals and mercury you need to follow the following action in order to disinfect in the area first and foremost you need to cover the spill with a newspaper or blotting paper or paper towel or dry mud afterwards you need to put 5% phenyl or freshly prepared hydrochloride solution having 1% chlorine on it and wait for 30 minutes for contact afterwards you need to wear gloves and collect it with a plastic scoop and put in a plastic container afterwards you need a wet mop to clean the area with the help of phenyl large volume of body fluids must be managed by following actions first and foremost you need to wear gloves mop with the absorbent cotton gauze and discard the infection into the waste bin cover the spill with the help of newspaper or blotting paper towel or dry cloth pouring 5% phenyl or freshly prepared hypochlorite solution in it and having 1% chlorine on it and wait for 30 minutes for contact afterwards you need to mop the area with phenyl already i have explained this in the previous slide the next ic material you should have is needle stick incident flow chart so what are the action you will take whenever your sub center or hwc staff they get needle stick injury so this is the chart okay the skin on or non intact skin should be washed with soap and water immediately but don't scrub the area the area where you got the needle prick do not use any kind of antiseptic okay afterwards free bleeding 
of puncture wound should be encouraged gently by wound should not be sucked okay then cover the wound with a waterproof plaster then you need to notify the pharmacist charge of the incident then you need to contact the emergency department for advice afterwards record the details of the incident including the affected individual's name address date of birth you need to have following items in the mercury spill kit torch light number 1 cardboard 2 small plastic scoop number 1 tweezer you need 1 syringe without needle 1 sticky tap 1 glass container 1 gloves 1 face mask you need 1 plastic bag 1 biohazard tag that is very important you need 1 and shoe cover 1 next ic material you need to display in your hwc rain water harvesting system you need to store water from the rain then you can use your water for garden watering or the medicinal plants watering toilet flushing cleaning purposes etc next ic material you need to maintain is use dustbin banner apart from that you can also maintain how to use the toilet so that you can avoid the people or the patient who is to use the toilet as well as the hwc staffs they should know how to use dustbin as well as how to use the toilet this is the ic material that is written in my local language so you can prepare this ic material also so that you can save water and conserve water next ic material which is very very important is the swatch bharat avyan ic material you need to display in your hwc entry gate okay next ic material you need to prepare is the dress code policy for all the hwc staff or the phc staff the next most important ic material you need to display in your hwc is the race res that is rescue alarm confine extinguish whenever there is a fire accident occurred in your area then you need to follow this mnemonic so that you can save the life of the person who are working in the hwc even the patient's life you need to pull the pin of the fire extinguisher afterwards a aim at the base of fire after that you need to squeeze the handle the last step is you need to sweep side to side then you can decrease the fire level and you can stop the fire in this way you can save the life of many people this is the pass waste protocol in order to decrease the fire that has been occurred in your hwc or your workplace next important ic material you need to display in your hwc is the sterilization process how will you discard the waste like the contaminated waste or the instruments or equipments by what method you will sterilize you need to display in your hwc okay what are the different methods you used to follow in your hwc everything you need to display in your hwc the last ic material you need to have in your hwc is how to prepare bleaching solution so for that you need sodium hypochlorite solution or bleaching powder in order to prepare 0.5% chlorine at first you need to mix 10 g of chlorine with 1 liter of water in order to make 1% chlorine solution hence for preparing 0.5% chlorine solution we need to mix 5 g of chlorine with 1 liter of water and assuming the bleaching powder as containing 30% available chlorine 5 g of chlorine can be available in 3.3 you need to multiply with 5 then you will get 16.5 g of bleaching powder then considering this 5% extra for wastage okay then the total bleaching powder requirement per liter will be 17 g as per the calculation so let us add this 17 g of bleaching powder into 1 liter of water so that we can prepare 0.5% chlorine solution okay similarly in order to prepare 0.1% chlorine we need to mix 
1 gram of chlorine with 1 liter of water and assuming the bleaching powder is containing 30% available chlorine. So 1 gram of chlorine can be available. We need to multiply 3.3 into 1 that is 3.3 gram of bleaching powder and we will consider 5% extra for the wastage. Okay, so total bleaching powder required is 3.5 gram. Then let us add this 3.5 gram of bleaching powder into 1 liter of water so that we can prepare 0.1 chlorine solution. This is all about the procedure. Hope you all guys got brief idea regarding the IC materials you need to display in your HWC whenever your subcenter got selected for Kayakal. Not only when the subcenter got selected for Kayakal, but in general also you need to display all these essential IC materials. Okay, so till then. Thank you for watching this video. Please do share among your friends so that they can display all these IC materials in their HWC. So for more such videos, please do like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel.